what the f am I look like? It looks like I'm looking at 343 Guilty Sparks Down Syndrome brother. The parts of the visor are around this blue bull in the middle. He literally looks like he's looking around. He's like, why am I here? Why am I alive? Why, why, why do I, why, why am I alive? Kill me. Saga! I didn't think it could get worse than what we read the other day on Twitch here through the community update on the uh on Halo Waypoint. I didn't think it could get any worse, but it has. And we're gonna go through the MCC development retrospective. We're gonna go through that again. We're gonna discuss it. But the bigger news is we're gonna talk about the god awful armor that they just added to the MCC. There's a lot of unhappy people. They can do whatever the hell they want. The MCC at this point is a game that is falling apart at the seams. As they're trying to fix it, they're doing things that people don't like. And then when the majority speak out, like we did today, the minority content creators, the, the ones that are the 1% echelon of the Halo community, basically say, oh, you guys are just being toxic. You guys just don't like change. I saw a lot of people today speaking out and being honest and giving their honest opinions about this armor about this update and saying how terrible it was in their opinion but then there was what i was noting noticing as simping for 343 industries hey baby me twitch if you need to it's not january yet i think the best way to start is by getting right into the mcc development update the retrospective of december 2020 now this came out yesterday and this was something that we went over on the stream and i went over it very briefly so starting off mcc december 2020 update tomorrow morning at 10 a.m mcc will be receiving our last patch of the year that is today we did receive that patch at 10 a.m and it's set twitter on fire i mean i've never seen halo 3 trending in the time that twitter has been up i don't think i've ever seen halo 3 trending i think i've seen halo 3 odst trending back when that launched i've seen halo reach trending i've seen other halo games trending but i've never seen halo 3 trending until today this will be over 26 gigabytes on the microsoft store approximately 22 gigabytes on xbox and will be roughly six gigabytes on steam this update is to set the groundwork for the next season coming in 2021 along with the usual collection of bug fixes and general housekeeping items i will say there are bug fixes in this update and they fix things but there's more things that they broke i'm talking like key functionality is now broken in about four of the games halo 3 in particular is extremely broken due, due to this update but let's go ahead and look at season 5 content in preparation for mcc's next season new cosmetic content will be added to the game in this patch these items will not be available for unlock and use yet but will be able to be seen in the preview image and text description these are various new armor sets for season 5. this content is being added ahead of time to coincide with today's plan patch in order to avoid an additional update early next year we're not announcing our final go live date for season five quite yet but we'll let you know in the new year we have no official date of when season five will be coming out if i had to take a guess late january early february that's when we're gonna see season five it's going to be a early thing next year i'm guessing either late january or it's gonna be early february that's just my opinion we have the new chat filtration toggle with this update we are also bringing a new option online that allows you to enable and disable text chat filtering that you see from other players in game by default this will be set to enabled disabling text chat filtering will only impact what you see from other players communications sent to you messages you send will continue to appear filtered so you know what parts of your messages other players will see and to understand what is getting caught maybe this will be a little experiment we'll do offline because i can't do it on twitch maybe me and the boys should uh go into the mcc off off stream of course and uh test out this filtration system let's see how bad it really is Let, let's see if they've really messed it up like a lot of people assume i i think that might be a little bit of a fun video if you guys are interested in that kind of video let me know down in the, the comment section down below 
since this will be coming a video on the channel. Keep in mind, you won't know whether the other players you are communicating with have filtering enabled or not. The hope is that by understanding what the filter is hiding, that you are able to more accurately communicate with your team, especially those players who have text chat filtering enabled. Basically, it's saying, hey, if you say we're, we're gonna catch you on that. And even if you don't think they're that naughty, stop it. I'm glad they added this because late last month, I almost got banned on Twitch due to there not being filtering of the chat. So I had people saying, kill this, uh, F this, and so on and so forth. And I couldn't do anything about it. And I got a warning from Twitch saying, hey, you need to manage this. This was reported on your stream. We are not going to file a, um, a temporary suspension, but you do need to turn off your in-game chat if so. This to me it is just insane. It, it took them a year to get a working filtration system and it also took them almost a year just to be able to have the option to disable the in-game text chat. Now here's the big one. Here's the big one that I talked about yesterday. This one to me, pissed me off nearly the most update issues anytime we perform a game update with bug fixes certain things in game like settings customization campaign saves stats and films may return to defaults be reset or not load with this update there are a few areas that will be impacted on both xbox and pc below is a detailed list of areas that are impacted by this update that's four games being impacted by this update, four games that your mid-mission saves will be corrupted. One game where your customizations might get fucked up. One game where your films won't work. How long is this gonna be broken for? Th that's a, I think that's a pretty good question. How long is this gonna be a problem? I would like to be able to do, you know, a legendary run and not have to worry about losing my save progress if I was doing a, oh, let's say a Halo 2 legendary run and I'm going through Sniper Jackal Hell on Gravemind. Let's say I was near the tail end, but I hadn't finished yet, and this update came out. Well, there goes my save file. Well, actually, it wouldn't be for Halo 2. Actually, it would be for Reach. So Reach is pretty much of a pain in the ass. Halo 3 isn't too bad. ODST can be a challenge, and 4 is just a slog. Films saved in the in-game theater will be corrupted and not watchable in games outlined below, as well as mid-mission campaign saves will no longer load due to content rebuilds. You will be able to restart the mission. However, some player customizations may also be not saved and need to be reapplied again. See list below. You've got Halo Reach, campaign mid-mission saves broken. Halo 3, player customization, campaign mid-mission saves and films broken you've got halo 3 odst campaign mid mission saves broken you have halo 4 campaign mid mission saves broken and then you got the apology we apologize for the inconvenience but this is something that is required as we continue to make updates to the game we hope you enjoy the bug fixes and additional content the update will be making i can't wait to see what what they're actually going to fix what are they actually going to fix with these patch notes what are they actually going to fix with these these problems that we're dealing with in the game because these are pretty bad especially if you're a single player player who doesn't really like to play campaign and just likes to hang out and enjoy campaign and and just do your thing yesterday when i was reading this article originally there were no patch notes they had no idea what was going to be fixed when this update came out a day before i i don't like that I, I don't like the idea of going into a game and not having any kind of preparation so i have to wait until this patch comes out and then find out what you fixed and what's broken the tech suits for hail three spartans are available now in the customization menu now these patch notes weren't here yesterday as we go through this but we thought that when we saw these these armors right here the demo spartan armor the 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 oh, jesus christ these things whoever made the decision to make this graphic for this update th these colors you used are literally sea foam green 
with a little bit of vomit on the shoulder pads. You've got the fucking turds with carrots for shoulder pads. And then you got baby vomit fucking shoulder pads with a hint of piss. That's literally what I'm seeing here. Piss, vomit, and something that looks somewhat decent. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. There's much more. Here, here's the problem I have with this. Those fixes right there versus losing customization in Halo 3 for the time being, it, it, having a, a bug, doing this pre-upload. Was it really worth it to fix, to, to break all this stuff? Was it worth breaking the mid-mission saves of both Halo Reach, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 4? Especially when Halo 4 just came out and people are struggling to want to play through that campaign. So we read through the patch notes, pretty generalization, and then we are just getting started. And what this is right here is Halo the Master Chief Collection, December 2019 to 2020. What all has happened throughout the year of 2020? Top community requested features that are in the game now. Now looking at this, you got crossplay, player customization, firefight, server selection, and input-based matchmaking. Those are all top requested, you know, things for the game that are in the game now. But do you know what, what I've heard the most be requested, not just in my comment section on YouTube, but in this chat here on Twitch? Chat, wh what's the number one feature that you guys have been requesting for nearly two years? Doggo says custom game browser. Retro fan, custom games browser, mods, good, good call. A good Halo game. Hey, that would be a great feature. That would be a great feature, Nathan. As someone who has been covering this game since 2014, since the, the first fixes went out, since matchmaking was broken, and then all the way up to when they announced that we were going to start working on fixing the MCC. The one thing that I keep getting asked about is custom games browser. When is it coming? Have you heard anything about the custom games browser? What's the status on the custom games browser? And, and I get constant questions about it in, in my chat. Did the custom games browser come in this update? And, and it's one of those things that honestly, I wish that I could give people better answers on. I wish that I could give people better answers on when things were coming, but they, they just give us very vague answers, which we will talk about here in a second because we do hear a little bit about the custom games browser. We do hear a little bit about it. Custom games. Hey, custom games, very popular. This statistic feels a little low, doesn't it? Total custom games played 18,625,139. I know people that do nothing but custom games. You got 3,041,112 hours in Forge. Of course, big, big portion of the community loves their forge, especially all the new items that were added over these, the course of the game coming to PC. And, and then we got 14,907,228 hours in custom games. Okay. So you've had some pretty damn long custom games that almost rack up to the same amount of custom games that you've played. So state of the game with Farns and Basically, he goes through and talks about how the year was amazing. It was a great journey, so on and so forth. And that there was a few features that slipped out of this year's goals. That includes the custom game browser that everyone talks about. And another one that personally I feel like should have been there at launch, file share on PC. I thought this had been added, but I guess not. Because here's the thing. I don't use file share that much. I never was a file share guy, but I know how important it is to the lifeline of the Halo community and being able to find those files easily. That needs to come early 2021, no joke. We do get a little bit of news here. So starting off, we have seasons. Not a hard one to guess, but more seasons are coming next year and are planned to be on a regular two month cadence starting with season five. Every two months, we will be getting a brand new season on the MCC. So we are going to be getting them pretty frequently, but not as frequently as we got them over the past year. The current plan will take us to season 10. And from there, we'll determine if more will come. So this confirms no matter what, we are getting 10 seasons. That is on lock. That is confirmed 10 seasons. Forge. Well, that, that's, that's definitely going to be happening. But mods, 
and this is what a lot of people were excited about mod support is coming it is coming you know this has been talked about for a year ever since halo reach came on december 11th 2019 mod support we we want a mod launcher we want support we want tools they have already finished up the end user license agreement you know with, with bethesda they really tried to sneak in there you know with the whole paid mods i i really hope 343 wouldn't do something like that i really hope microsoft wouldn't do something like that but again microsoft uh, microsoft owns bethesda quality of life and bug fixes we will continue to have a team dedicated to fixing as many bugs as we can this does include fixing legacy issues where we can and yes we will prioritize performance issues across the board good to hear but as we saw from those patch notes it seems like the idea of you know the issues for example being those those saves and everything well we we fixed a bunch of you know minimal bugs at least in my opinion and we just broke the saves for four of our games as well as customization and theater for halo 3. and this this is one of the the best parts of the entire update view model adjustments for all games on track for early 2021 so basically what that means is the adjustment of the player models with your guns and so on and so forth steam account linking on track for early 2021 you'd think with how much you know promotion they've gone with steam that this would would have been prioritized prioritized for this year in-game fps cap slash adjustment more options coming in 2021 pc file share on track for early 2021 again i hope so i really hope so because people have been asking for this file share for a long time additional video settings slash options more options coming in 2021 does that mean we might actually you know see an improvement in graphics i don't know with additional video settings what would you guys actually like to see Th that is my question what what kind of of actual visual settings for mcc would you like to see custom game browser on track for early 2021 i i hope so double key bindings for all games Th this is still something that a lot of people would love to have and you know a lot of i know there's a lot of developers out there that have said that it shouldn't be that goddamn hard but for some reason it is with 343 so per game audio options this should be in flights in early 2021 i've been asking for this and i know many of you have for years they've talked about fixing this they've talked about the audio issues being fixed i would like to see that be added very soon bringing pc features to console like fov slider i i've had tons of you know guys that don't want to play on pc but want the features of pc on console and i i don't think that's a hard thing to ask for especially an fov slider in design iteration additional mod support we've already talked about that additional accessibility support cool hdr support on pc eh i i don't know if that's going to be coming anytime soon i really don't see that one uh new season content that's already been added new forge items that's already been added and then you have the all new super secret features that i'm not ready to talk about it's already been added in the backlog pending further discussions idling system improvements you know how you improve the idling system you get rid of it in lobbies you know how you improve it keep it in game the guy's missing for a couple of minutes in game you kick him but the idling system in the lobbies is complete shit. and then split screen on pc also here is a pretty uh, well i wouldn't call it that a pretty picture for next season's content and what you have here is what we got this morning at 10 a.m for halo 3 looking at the art style looking at the art style of just these three alone it does not work in in halo 3 if you told me that these were being added for halo 4 or halo 2 anniversary i'd say okay i wouldn't have i wouldn't have bad an eyelid but then when i see the these armors being put in halo 3 with the colored undersuits and i see oh uh, where, where, where's a good oh here, here's the perfect example perfect example our our homie kevin cool taking screenshots of of this in halo 3 i thought i was looking at a doom uh 2016 multiplayer character 
pretty, pretty fucking wonky. I mean, that looks more alien than the fucking covenant. I love Kevin to death. And he did this. He literally did this just to piss people off and make it the ugliest thing possible. And it worked. And it just proves the point. I don't want to see this shit. I don't want to see this shit in, in Halo 3. Luckily, they're already saying right here that for the record, we are 100% looking into a toggle. Don't take out of context screenshots as gospel. They said we're looking into it. It's not saying we're doing it. It says we're going to try and do it. We're going to attempt to do it. We're looking into it. That does not sit well with me at all. Because if I have to play Halo 3 and look at this shit. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? This fits nowhere in the Halo 3 art style. It looks totally out of place. It looks totally out of character. And honestly, the majority of people on Twitter today di didn't like it. I think we've talked about everything we need to talk about here. I guess the only thing we got left to do is actually go and take a look at the actual game. I think, that, I think that's the last thing we have to do. I think that's literally our last option is is that we're going to have to go and look at the actual game. And the first thing we're going to check out is Halo Reach. And the first one that everyone wants to see, the AKIS or AKIS variants. You've got the base variant. You got the GRD, the, the very popular helmet that a lot of people wanted to see. A lot of people wanted this in reach the grd but the one that you really were gonna see was this right here the grd slash cbrn that was the version that everyone wanted in halo reach that was the one that came in the dlc for halo anniversary uh with the dlc maps the dolls that you would find then you have the cbrd honestly cbrd grd it it looks good and guess what it fits the aesthetic of the game but you do have the exo slash tscs chest plate mariner so there's the base base kind of looks like a an interesting little eva helmet sort of design but with a little bit of a more front to it then you got defiant and obviously what this is supposed to be is like a diving helmet it's a spartan diving helmet you got the break in the middle of the glass pretty cool of course you've got your silly memes you got the mr chief face and he's staring into your soul And then you've got the Opterex. He's kind of like similar to the, the other helmet. I like it. It's not terrible. Uh, I, I guess we'll look at the armor first. So there, there's all of our classic armors. Beautiful, clean lines. Nothing insane. And then you have aerosol. Okay. No, nothing too crazy yet. We got aviator. Okay. We're starting to get, we're starting to get into the, the, the weird territory, right? Kind of like a knockoff stormtrooper or, or like a weird stormtrooper, am I right? The next one is Compass. What the fuck am I looking? Like, it looks like I'm looking at 343 Guilty Sparks Down Syndrome brother. The parts of the visor are around this blue bullshit in the middle. He literally looks like he's looking around. He's like, why am I here? Why am I alive? Why, why, why do I, why, why everybody not kill me? Dead eye, dude, dude. Some of these these helmets just make no sense. Dead eye, a literal cyclops helmet. Why do we need this in the game? Why is this supposedly gonna work with Halo Three? I, I, I don't know. Demo, okay. Demo doesn't look terrible. Like I said, looking at the image, it, it, the visor isn't ridiculously stupid. Helmet shape is, is just really it's interesting hive mind it's the gimpy frog it's the gimpy looking frog helmet how do you make a human look more alien than the goddamn aliens navigator okay this one isn't like terrible it's like an advanced uh eva kind of it's not it's not terrible i'm not the biggest fan of it the lines in the front is just kind of crazy. It still, again, feels like a Doom 2016 helmet. Pioneer. 
I I don't know what to say about this. Like, again, looks like a Doom 2016 helmet. Soldier. Okay. A little more simplistic. Not a big fan of of how my colors work on him. Okay, we're getting there. Not not terrible, but again, the detail just feels a little too crazy. Like if you go from this to this, you, you can definitely see Halo, Doom, Tanker. Okay, and then you've got Warrior, which this is uh, based off of a Halo Four helmet, from what I remember. I honestly see very weird looking Power Rangers. Exactly. It looks like a bunch of Gaijins from Power Rangers. Let's look at the Halo 4 version of that Warrior helmet real quick before we go on with the shoulders. Warrior. Okay, it's definitely different. Yeah, they, they look entirely different. That Warrior came out before this one. So this is technically the updated version. I, I really don't know which one I look I like more. They look like they're both from the same game. We got air assault. Okay. Not terrible. That looks like shit. I do not like aviator. I don't think anyone has liked this bubbly bullshit. Compass. Okay. Compasses doesn't look too terrible. Pioneer. Okay. I'm not I'm not a big fan of uh, demos. Okay. Dead eyes. Okay. Hive minds. Eh. Navigator literally looks like he's wearing iPods on your arm that you listen to while you're running. Pioneer, eh. Soldier, okay, more classic. Yeah, like he's missing a chunk of armor. It just doesn't look right. Tanker looks okay. And then Warrior, it's decent. It needs to be up higher. This needs to be up higher on his shoulder and there needs to be another plate of armor there. It, it's literally missing. Like if I go here, okay, visualize it. Got it in your head, okay? And then I go up to security, there's literally a piece of armor right here. Okay, let's look at the chest plates. Let's look at the, let's see how they've, they've butchered my, oh boy. Security, okay, pretty pretty basic. It's basically the Mark VI with, with an antenna. Aviator, okay. Not entirely hating it. I'm just getting Halo 4 vibes. You got Aviator, okay, this is a little closer to the, the, the more, you know, the normal sec security and stuff, but it's still just so much line work where, where you don't have that in other places. Compass, no. Deadeye, all I'm getting is Chief. Chief Halo 4, that's all I'm seeing here. Halo 4 Chief, Halo 4 Chief. I, I swear I've seen this armor in Halo 5 or something. Demo, Hive Mind. I, I'm just getting a didact kind of feeling from it. Navigator, more Halo 4 Chief in my opinion. <sighs> Nothing there, it looks like he's wearing a bulletproof vest that's just dyed green. This kind of reminds me of ODST. Soldier isn't too bad. I I'm not hating Soldier. I think that this would go well with the ODST helmet. Again, I'm getting Chief 4 mixed with Didact. It it like the smooth armor and stuff. Just not, or, or Elites, maybe. I, I don't know. Tanker, Halo 5 vibes. Halo, Halo 5 vibes. Warrior. Yeah, I the only one I like is Soldier. That is the only one who I that I think I could deal with is Soldier. Okay, and then we have arms, and this is all Halo Online. So you can adjust your arms. Soldier, again, Soldier is the only one that looks decent. These other ones, just so rounded edges. Tanker, okay, Tanker doesn't look too bad. Let, let's see actually from the front. Ah, uh, never mind. Tanker seems a little bit chunky. Chunky monkey. And then you got Warrior, which, 50-50. Eh, 50-50. All right, let's go legs. We can now look at the legs. Ooh. Okay, one, I'm, or, I'm already seeing an issue, guys. There's absolutely no lights on any of these armors. Yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm not totally hating these, but I, I, like this is the only one that has lights. It looks like he's wearing Yeezys. Chief's got Yeezys, bitches. Oh God, no, please, please, Jesus, no. No, please, Jesus, I don't, oh, I don't wanna see no one. Oh no. Uh, Gen 1, that, I guess that's supposed to be Halo 3. Gen 2, I, I'm just seeing Halo 4, 5. And then I, 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 I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out of that one. I'm out, I'm out. Let's look at the new vehicle skins and, and, and stuff. So let's start with the weapon skins. So Battle Rifle, Tropical Thunder, 50-50 if it makes sense. It seems a little bit too wild to be like an actual camo. Art of War doesn't make sense. It's just a pretty skin. Tech Camo Bravo. 
I can see a real Spartan using this on the field. Red alert. This is just obviously, you know, a nice skin. Great journey. I do like the skin. I do like the purple aesthetic. I, I am a fan of purple aesthetic, as you can see around me. I do like purple. I do. I, I, I don't hate it. Desert. Again, this is one that I can see people using on the field in the lore. Golden. It's just basically e -peen. Lucky shot. Ooh. You, you got to you, you, you gotta hit me with that green BR. I mean, I, I'm not hating it. Uh, I'm not going to hate on green, baby. Like, it, it's green. But this one's nice. I like this one. I like this one. Hazard pay, no. It's just it's just the hazard paid skin. I, I've always found that stupid. I, I don't like it. Scarlet Throne. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Even though it doesn't work in the lore. Even though it doesn't work in lore. Oh. I like it. I, I like the I love the colorway. Hunter's blood. Nah. Let's move on to sniper rifles. God, it it, it hurts. It hurts scrolling past that because honestly, it is a beautiful skin. Red alert. Again, pretty skin. Doesn't make sense to the lore, but still not terrible. And then ugh, fuck off hazard pay. Rocket launchers. We're getting it. We're getting a hazard paid skin. Assault rifle. Desert. Makes sense to the lore. And then we're getting another hazard pay. I don't know who, who likes hazard pay. I, I don't know who, who likes that. I don't know anyone that likes hazard pay. Magnum, we're getting a couple of those. We're getting a fucking hazard pay. And then a tech camo, I like that. Here's where I'm gonna like a skin, okay? So you got Art of War, Golden, the e -peen fucking skin, Hunter's Blood that, that's already been unlocked. Boom, Scorpion or Scorpio. And it's green and black and it's Scorpio. Let's go. God, I sound like fucking Uber Nick. Please shoot me. Fuel rod. We're getting a schism version. Okay. More schism. More schism. More schism. Oh, here, here's the good shit. Keeper. Keeper plasma rifle. I'm not hating on it. I, I'm not hating on it. A little bit of accent. Not terrible. For the carbine. We finally got some skins for that coming in. We got Schism, a green carbine. I'm not gonna complain. We got Zealot, gold carbine, e -peen skin, and then Splendor. This, I like. I like the blue and white ac accent colors. I'm digging it. I like it. We do, I believe we have some vehicle skins, by the way. We do have Mongoose hazard pay. Why can't we get a Hornet skin? Saga! 